Hello everyone and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. Now today you actually joined me on day two of my European road trip. Um, this is the first time ever that I'm trying to go from London where I live down to Monaco for Top Marks Monaco. I'm sure it's a show that you're all very familiar with. Um, if not, then I'll be bringing coverage of it over the next few days. Um, the last time I went was in 2015, so a good seven years ago. Various reasons for that, but of course also COVID. I was meaning to go the last two years. Unfortunately, got in the way. Uh, the reason why you're joining me on day two for this first one is because yesterday we came down uh, on the Eurotunnel, of course, with my F-Type. Um, that was all very smooth. It was actually very good when we first started. Uh, then we got into France. Um, we had a good four hours of driving to do. Um, the weather quickly turned bad and it was absolutely terrible, to be honest. It was pouring with rain. Um, I even tried to go to the famous Reims Go circuit, um, the sort of main grandstand area. But, as I'm sure you'll see on the sort of B-roll I put over this, the weather was far too wet for me to even bother trying, so I just end up not bothering. So, what we're doing today, um, of course, like I said, in my car, uh, we're going to be going from Troyes, sorry if I absolutely annihilate any of the pronunciation for these things. Um, we're going to be going from here, which is sort of um, just above Reims, um, a bit uh, east of Paris, going from here to Lyon. A lot of people break this, either do it in one go, um, straight from London to Monaco, which is about an 18 hour drive. Way too much for me. Um, so what I've decided, is, and other people, maybe you know, Harry Metcalf, for example, and other people that have done the driving, they've maybe split, split the journey into two. That's also gonna be a bit too much, just because I wanna sort of wanna enjoy myself as well. So what I've decided to do um, is to put into, I think, three stops. So we're going from Troyes to Lyon today, so we've got three hours and 20 minutes of driving. Once again, just auto routes, so I'll probably just film a little bit about that. Um, not too much, because it won't be too exciting. But then after Lyon, we're going to a place called Gap. Oh, and then from there, down to Monaco, we're going to be going through the route Napoleon, so a lot more filming there. So, um, we're about to head out now, uh, and uh, I probably will catch up with you either tonight or on the route, um, but at some point, obviously, before we get to the next stop. So um, we're well underway. Uh, we've just actually had lunch and uh, it's literally just all auto routes today. So you want to point the camera forward just to see the kind of things that we're looking at. The French auto route is an amazing thing. It's actually incredible in comparison to England. The road quality is really good. It's nice and smooth. I'm sure you've heard lots of other people sort of compliment it. So you bring the camera back to me. Um, so we're head headed from what the place we were at was which is called uh, Troyes, I believe. And then we're going down to Lyon. So if you don't know France, I could probably get overlay maybe a Google Maps over this or something. But it's going from a town that's just sort of kind of east of Paris. Um, and then we're going to be going uh, down south, down to sort of more the middle of France, maybe slightly over middle of France. And um, if you know your geography of the EU quite well, uh, then I can say it's um, sort of, uh, what is it, southwest of Geneva. So once again, I could probably just show you, it might be a bit easier. Uh, we've got another, we've already been going quite a while. We've still got another 258 kilometers to go, which is uh, two hours and 17 minutes. It's gonna be a really long journey. Um, there's not a huge amount to film on these sorts of days, so I'm literally just giving you a bit of an update today. As, as I said, it's basically all auto route. From tomorrow onwards, it should be a lot more interesting because we're going to be going into the Alps, we have Alpine roads, and then hopefully down into Monaco the day after. Um, we have been using the little toll pass things. I have heard other content creators and people rave about them, and I have to say it's my first time using them. They are super easy to use. The instructions in the pack says you have to stick them to the window, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. You can just pop them up like that. Um, so you don't have the annoying glue on your windscreen, it's nice and easy. Anyway, um, so that's probably enough waff waffling for me. I may update you a bit later. If not, then I'll probably be tomorrow morning when we're going towards the mountain towns and hopefully seeing some more interesting roads.
morning everyone and um, welcome to the morning of day three of my drive down from London to Monaco. Uh, to, as uh, I said yesterday we went from Troyes which is sort of southeast of Paris to where we are now which is Lyon um, and we are sort of southwest of Geneva, Geneva as far as I'm aware. Um, as I said it was pretty much all auto routes yesterday so I didn't do too much filming. As I mentioned yesterday the route was going to be quite boring which is why I didn't film too much but we did come across some interesting cars from what was known as the Run Ball Rally which was uh, quite unexpected but it seems like lots of people are doing road trips at the moment. Things have really got back to normal it seems and of course um, as you saw just driving up through Lyon through the twisty roads we did manage to come across these two cars a really nice 911 um, and then we've got this 280 SL as well and these cars are part of what looks like this group um, and they're doing a route which is going through the Alps from Chamonix to uh, Silzano in Italy it looks like um, so yeah, that was really fun. I was worried at this point, at one point that the clutch was going to go on this one, but I think they managed to salvage it. Um, today it's going to be a little bit more interesting for me and my car because we're finally going up into the mountains. So we've got a little bit of boring auto route to get done and then we're going through the N85 to the next stop. So the N85 is the route Napoleon, which I'm sure you've heard of many times before. But if you haven't, essentially, it's a very twisty, beautiful, technical road in the mountains in, in France going from kind of where we are now, which is Lyon, all the way down to the Riviera, which will be our final stop. So uh, looking forward to actually mixing it up a bit and getting on some more interesting roads. And of course, I'll be taking you with me and showing you everything that we're going to be doing. Um, so yeah, until then, um, I'm going to get my bits ready. What I'll do actually, I'm going to show you, I had some comments about this, the storage space. So I don't know the actual number, usually for me I do, but it's actually quite sizable. Um, you know, the areas that sort of go down on either side and then we've got a little bit in here as well where I've got uh, coolant, engine oil, different little bits. Um, so yeah, it's actually quite good. Anyway, so as I said, what we'll do is um, I'll get packed up and I'll probably join you again on the route Napoleon. Okay, so we're just pulling up to one of these payage booths. If you pull forward quickly and look at the different things, the things with T are the things that we need to use and everything else um, is just a normal sort of um, toll fee. Uh, this is a little thing here. You sort of sort this out when you're, you're coming over um, on the website. And then all you have to do, if you're going into one of these ones, what you have to do is you have to stop, get a ticket um, and then wait to pay it the next time with this. Hopefully it's going to work. All we have to do is put it up around here and it should detect it. There we go. And then that opens the gate nice and simple. You don't have to get out. And of course, if you're driving a right hand drive car, you don't have to like lean over if you don't have a passenger. It makes it so much easier. And at the end of the month, you just get a direct debit um, to your bank account that you've selected. And it's super easy. So I really recommend using one of these if you're coming on road trip through France. everyone and welcome to the fourth and final day of my road trip down to Monaco for Top Marks. Um, just as a bit of a recap, uh, yesterday of course we started off in Lyon, we sort of drove up into the mountains to a place called Gap which is where I am now. Um, the mountain roads were absolutely incredible on the route Napoleon, the N85, really enjoyed that. My first, obviously I've done a little bit of driving in, in Wales and across the UK but I've never done anything quite like the route Napoleon so that was really enjoyable. Um, we've got a little bit of, of that today. Um, where we're going to be going from Gap. So we're about 745 meters up, so over 2,000 feet, I think. Um, I actually stayed at this really nice little Airbnb. It's got secure parking, which is great. Um, and there's even a little stream down here. So we had that sort of nice ambient noise from that last night. That was really nice. Um, so we, we're at a place called Gap, like I said. Um, we're going to be going from here down to Monaco today. Um, so we're going down the mountain roads, down the passes, probably a bit of auto routes as well, just to speed things up a little bit. 
uh, where we're going to finally get to Monaco, get some nice sort of Riviera, French, south of France coastal roads, which I'm going to obviously include in the video. And then my arrival, I'm staying at the Fairmont, sort of a, if you follow uh, F1, you should know about the, in, in terms of the, the F1 uh, Monaco Grand Prix, you know about the Fairmont, Fairmont hairpin. We're staying at that hotel, so really looking forward to it. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll obviously include my arrival. And uh, yeah, just looking forward to getting on the road. We've probably got another uh, three hours and 40 minutes of driving without any brakes. Probably will want to include some brakes just because it's quite hard going. It's gonna be very warm today as well. So we're looking at another probably five hours on the road. Um, so yeah, looking forward to finally getting to Monaco. Um, and yeah, so what I'll do, is gonna start packing everything up now and I'll catch up with you again at some point on the way. So we're making our way now um, down from the mountains and if you want to point the camera forward and see if you can try and Exiting focus. Exiting speed check zone. Thank you. See if we can focus. We actually found some people um, doing some skydiving which is pretty crazy and by the way that they're descending it looks like they're, if you can see, like really going down quite far so they look quite experienced. I did see in our sort of Airbnb guide that it's something that you can do around this area so it's actually quite nice to see it. Okay, so you've probably seen the signs we've been coming down. If you point forward, just over there, you're missing it a bit, right. unfortunately. Then you can probably left. see it if we go straight down this tiny little road. That is, in fact, the sea. We finally made it down to the Riviera. It's taken quite a while. Um, we're going to go to a small beach first. If you point back to me again, we're going to go to a small beach first, um, just to sort of set everything up, and then we'll be heading down to Monaco, and that's where I'll sort of catch up with you next. Alright, so after all of that driving, it's probably been about 45 minutes or so since I last caught up with you. We've finally reached Monaco's um, the Casino Square. So we've got the casino up here, uh, the Hotel de Paris is over here. So if you actually want to look at these things, so they've got the Hotel de Paris over here, which I'm sure you've seen before. Of course, all the nice cars parked outside. Then we've got the obviously the square ahead of us. We can already see what's that. And Aventador, and I can't see what else that is. And then we're going to go through here. We've got to my right, we've got the casino. Um, usually tons of nice bits there. There's a huge amount of tourists, as always, you can see ahead of us. I'm doing my best not to take them out. Um, so I'm going to catch up with you again as we get round past this traffic um, and we sort of approach the Fairmont. A little while, but now we're going through... Uh, I don't actually know the name of this corner, I probably should. We're finally 
um, going through the final sort of parts of our journey, the Fairmont hairpin look ahead. And now we're going actually into the Fairmont Hotel itself. What a journey this has been, but hopefully we can go in this way. And uh, make our way down. What the hell is that? Never seen one of those before. Okay, so I really wanted to finish the video as I sort of pulled into the Fairmont, but it all got quite hectic. We got swarmed by very, very diligent concierges, so I wasn't able to do it there. I'm doing it in my room at the moment. Um, they're doing so much construction work outside here at the moment, so if you're going to stay at the Fairmont, you should probably be aware of this. However, there is still a very, very nice view all around here of the Mediterranean, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, so, if you follow my Instagram page, I'm sure you would have probably seen quite a lot of the uh, story of me coming down. Um, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, I've, I'm, as you know. Uh, not just the first time I've documented it, it's the first time ever that I've done a drive of this nature. I've wanted to do it for such a long time that various things have gone in the way, so I'm really glad that I've been able to do it finally and tick it off. So I'm very glad once again to be able to show it to you. I'm obviously very glad in general. Anyway, which is a good thing. So. Um, I hope you found it an interesting drive, um, maybe learned something or just found it entertaining. If so, please leave a like and a comment. And uh, until next time, uh, please subscribe for more.